back with another banger welcome or welcome back family what's good family welcome back to another video on the channel as you can see by the title y'all we are back with another amazon find and i can say baby she's a baddie already before i can even take her out the pack or anything because i just feel like anything coming from amazon is a baddie so you guys this is a 30 inch aldi a-l-i-d-i-d-i -I -I hair from amazon 30 inch slave baby beautiful comes 200 percent density bitch if you ain't hear me i said 200 percent density for 139 dollars baby if that ain't a grab that's a baby i ain't gotta say too much she a grab sorry right, sis gents gentlemen whatever you want to be called today you guys we are going in with a yellow a funky yellow at that from kiss temptations y'all i don't know why but i felt like a little vibrant as always y'all know i do color and it gotta be bright we don't do dark colors over here because baby we ain't trying to look dead you feel what i'm saying but we was giving that little yellow sunrise like the fresh bright you know when you first wake up like bam summertime you feel what i'm saying it's letting you know that it's gonna be hot as hell outside so y'all we went with this funky yellow and we also went with a cherry bomb i was going for like a more of a burgundy at the end but you know with our dollar mania stores here in shreveport baby they really ain't got too much um options if you want to say so y'all as you can see we already went in with that shimmer lights we are to knock out every yellow temptation highlight whatever you can call in this wig just to make sure when we put this color on it's giving us the color that we trying to go for so you've seen that we went in with the yellow and then we went in with the cherry bomb it's giving us two colors but y'all then wasn't the colors that we was going for the end was but the i mean it still came out pretty i was going for just like a yellow sunrise like i did with the orange sunrise but she gave me like a little hint of orange and it's giving me like a wig that i already did and i don't like that but y'all let's hop right on to this install as you know your girl go in with six layers of glue if I, you ain't hear me right now i said it again six layers of mother and glue you feel me your girl go to the gym and baby it's 105 some degrees outside and i'm trying to wear a 30 inch so to make sure that don't slide back like the last one did we finna do six layers of glue this time and we finna make sure she's secure secure y'all secure if you didn't hear me the first time baby she slid back before three weeks we ain't gonna do that again so this is what she's looking like after six layers of glue i'm telling y'all if y'all do it right it's gonna come out clear it's gonna do what she's supposed to do it's not gonna come out cakey or anything you feel what i'm saying at this point in time i feel like i'm just rambling so y'all continue to watch the video and if you need help with the steps just let me know because you know we didn't did this a thousand times on this on this plot I said this plot on this channel. So you guys should already know the routines for the ones that's coming in new. Y'all, all we doing is sizing the wig on our forehead and making sure that everything is seamlessly right to our head. Because like I said before, the wigs do not come measured to our head. So baby, fit it to your liking. Fit it to your liking. the mistake i made was putting the glue on before i put the wig on and measured it on my head never do that never have your wig standing on the stocking cap or, or the head or whatever while you're over there putting on your six layers of glue not even measuring it to your head to even know how far you want it down or what so this part in time i feel like i got my five heads sticking out which i'm kind of mad about but it's cool as you can see it's very important to measure it to your head you can see that i have my little um tempt my dots you know what i'm trying to say my little temptation at the end at the corners your temple baby is not matching or coordinating with the wig so we got to take that mug off and undo it and put it back on and once you put six layers of glue on you do not want to take off a wig and relay it i'm just telling you you don't you can already see what i'm talking about but y'all we made it work and we do what it do you feel what i'm saying i put that band on for an hour to lay it down me personally do not spray your wig around the edge line before you cut the lace i feel like you're just 
adding steps to, to you're just doing too much. You feel what I'm saying? When you when you lay the wig down, put the band on for an hour or 10 minutes, whatever your discretion is, after for an hour, and then cut it off and then apply any type of spray you want to do to make sure that it's laid down and secure. Don't do that shit while that doggone, while that lace is still there. Don't do it. Ugh, don't do it. exactly why I say do not spray before you cut the lace off because look all that excess lace I have still on the wig I can literally have gone like it irritates me just to have lace still on there that can be gone when two weeks at their time once it starts showing you ain't really got a lace to show if you don't have nothing there but if you got shit there it's gonna start peeping up after two weeks you feel what I'm saying especially when you wear makeup and I wear makeup so be mindful of that y'all be very mindful of that When you're working these baby hairs, I prefer to do them the way that I do them. I love the way that the professionals do them, how they make them look like they're coming out of your scalp. Me personally, I would love to do that, but I just like the temple baby hair because I feel like I can move my hairstyle and do it however I want to do it instead of literally having to position my hair into a way where that baby hair is laid the way that they be having them when they be doing professional but every way you know everyone is to each his own you know what I'm saying me personally I like the way that I do it but anyways y'all we are using the foam to lay down any flyaways or any excess that we don't need at the moment we're gonna go in with this hot comb and we um flipped it just to make it easier to do the baby hairs and we put a little foam on it to give a little you know movable flexible position some people use um fantasia spray i do also but i use it at the end but to each his own like i say baby baby hairs are not my best friend the reason why we are doing baby hair so fat and juicy this time because your girl got a five head and it's sticking out like i said i should have measured the wig before playing it down because your girl would have covered all of that you feel what i'm saying normally my baby hairs come as close to my eyebrows as possible in this case it's not which is a good thing because the makeup not gonna get on it but it's a bad thing because my fat ass forehead is showing period point blank you already know what it is we finna go into this styling keep on watching y'all if y'all have not done so yet bitch what you waiting on and hit that subscribe button because we do fashion videos hair wig installs reviews collab collaborations and all sweetie let's get into it and you don't want to miss it make sure that notification is on so every time your girl drop a video you get notified bitch yeah let's get it get into it keep watching When it comes to this wig i have literally no complaints it is full it is thick it is body the 200 density did not lie it is little to no shedding no smell baby this wig is a grab she is baby get her linked in description When it's all said and done, she became a bad E. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? Do you see me, baby? It might have been some little kinks, hinks, hiccups here and there doing this install, but baby, the finishing product, the finishing look, the finishing reveal, it is the bomb. When I tell you I love a fresh install, I can't explain it enough. 
like I said from the beginning of this video, the link will be dropped in the description box below. Go ahead and leave your girl a comment. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video if you like the color, if you love the content in this video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet. Cut on your notifications so every time your girl drop a video, you get notified, sis. And see you in the next video. And mwah, mwah, mwah. love you. See you later, sis.